Okay, guys, the uh, Tesla guitar is done. I'm calling it done at this point anyway. I'm tired of working on it. Uh, <laughs> it was a cool project. It was a fun project. Uh, it was the uh, first time I actually used water slide decals on a guitar, and uh, that was a new experience. Uh, the damn thing was heavy enough to begin with, um, and doing the decals and pouring the resin on it, I think added another one or two pounds to it. It's probably somewhere around probably close to 10 pounds now, maybe 11, somewhere in there. Um, I haven't weighed it yet. Maybe I'll weigh it and uh, get an exact measurement for it at some point. But uh, I know the burning question in everybody's mind is, uh, um, what does it sound like or what does she sound like? So um, I'll put together, I'm going to put together here a little video in just a second and uh, um, give you guys an example of uh, what she sounds like in the different uh, situations. I'll be using the Line 6 Helix. Uh, for uh, for all my tones and uh, the Line 6 Helix is literally going straight through the uh, here in fact I'll show you um, okay so guitar going into the Helix the uh, XLR outs on the Helix are going to the PreSonus um, 24 channel uh, Studio Live version 3 and from there I'll be using Capture on the Mac to um, uh, to capture the audio with. And so I won't do any uh, processing of the audio. I'll, I'll leave it straight out of the Helix through the board into the computer. Um, uh, the board's probably gonna add a little bit of compression, just so you know. Um, the boards naturally do that anyway. But, um, <clears throat> but other than that, um, I'll bring it into Logic, um, sync it with the video, and I said, I, I won't do anything with it. I won't add any extra reverb or anything like that. I'll, I'll try to keep it as clean as possible so you can get an idea of what the uh, the essence of guitar sounds like. Um, so anyway, without further ado, here we go. <laughs>
Well, there you go, guys. <clears throat> That's the way it. Uh, There's the way it sounds, at least through the helix. Um, I'll probably be plugging it into the, uh, the Line Six DT50 a little bit later tonight, and just cranking and see see what happens there, and uh, see how it sounds through a real tube amp. But um, I'm sure some of you noticed a little bit of string buzz. Well, you know, um, at least you uh, guitar players out there probably noticed that. Uh, you know, the lower uh, lower frets. There's a little bit of string buzz going on, but. Brand new strings, I'm sure once they're broken in, that'll probably go away. So yeah, I'd appreciate uh, your comments and your thoughts. Uh, I'd like to know what people think about it. Uh, it was a fun project to do. Um, I'll probably be doing a couple more of these. I've got a couple more guitar bodies that are just sitting around waiting for something to do. Um, I haven't really come up with any concepts for them yet, but uh, I'm sure something will come along here in uh, the next few days. Uh, now that I've got my mind off of this guitar basically and uh, I can focus on you know doing something new with the with the other guitars. Uh, be looking out for more of these videos. I'll be doing more of this kind of thing as well as the virtual busking thing with my friend Sketty. I'll be doing a few more you know uh, videos of uh, me doing cover tunes and things like that. Uh, um, just basically anything centered around uh, guitar and just jamming here in the studio and having fun. Thanks everyone. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon.